Maybe you give them a word. Yeah, sure. I think that you, I mean, obviously, when you're a senior individual like myself, that my degree of protecting against infections is not as good as it was when you're 30. But if you're otherwise healthy senior, that the things that you really have less of a risk than if you have an underlying condition. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Where are Secretary A couple, couple more updates for you. Let, I want to hear from the Surgeon General and uh, Dr. Carson, and then we'll we'll go to as many questions as you have. Okay. Mr. Surgeon General. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yesterday was a very big, a very important day for our nation's providers and for our nation's patients in terms of the emergency declaration and also in terms of the agreement with the House that Secretary Mnuchin negotiated. And uh, I want you all to understand some straight talk from the nation's doctor. We really need you all to lean into and prioritize the health and safety of the American people. No more bickering, no more partisanship, no more criticism or finger pointing. There'll be plenty of time for that, but we all need to hit the reset button and lean into moving forward the health and safety of the American people as our top priority. More stories on how people can protect themselves, more people on how people can get the resources that they need that we've unleashed from the federal government and state and local governments. Let stories looking at what happened in the past, again, there'll be time for that. I want you all to understand, as Dr. Fauci said, this will get worse before it gets better, but we are making progress to flatten the curve. We are making progress. Three important points. Number one, almost all people will recover. 98, 99% of people will recover. People need to know that. And we heard a great story on NPR this morning about an 89-year-old from that nursing home facility in, uh, in Seattle who is recovered. Number two, we must lean into protecting the most vulnerable, those with chronic or severe medical conditions, especially seniors. Now is the time for us to lean into that, and we are taking the measures to protect them at HHS. Secretary Azar, Bob Cadlick, Bob Redfield, Admiral Chihuahua are hard at work right now, leaning into that from the federal level, but we need your help. Social distancing and mitigation, they're not to protect the 30-year-old or the 20-year-old from getting coronavirus, they're to protect your nana, they're to protect your granddaddy, they're to protect the people who you love in your lives, and we need your help. And finally, we all have a role to play. If we are complacent, selfish, uninformed, if we spread fear and distrust and misinformation, this situation will last longer and more people will be hurt. But if we pitch in and we share the facts, we will flatten the curve and we will overcome this situation. So finally, my prescription, know your risk, understand your circumstances, and get the facts to protect yourself at coronavirus.gov. Well done, Colonel. Thank you.